In this video, I'll show you how to translate one CCT app, Saoba app, Penduduo app to English language, all these three apps. I'll show you how to do it in this video. Okay, before I begin, these are the three apps we'll be translating. Check this. Check out this app. This first one here, yeah, starting from, from left. Look at this three. This first one is Pinduoduo app. These are the apps we'll be translating. This one is Pin Pinduoduo app. This one is one CCT app. Why this one is Tauba app? For Tauba app, you can get it from Play Store. For one CCT for one CCT app, I have a video on how to download it on your Android phone. If you are using a iPhone, you can get it from App Store. Then for Pinduoduo app, I have a video also on how to download it on on the website directly. And I'll be po posting links to those videos. So if you want to know how to download any of those apps, just check the description of this video for the links. Yes, I have a video dedicated to these apps, how to download it. So check the description and you will get it. Having said that, let's get started. Let's now start the translation process. So the first thing you have to do for translation is go to your Play Store or your App Store. Now, since I'm using Android, Play Store. Open your Play Store, search for High Dictionary. High, H G I, H G I Dictionary. You are seeing that, right? High Dictionary is when you're ready. So, that High Dictionary, download it. Okay, so this is it. I will install. I'm having a poor network, so it might take some time. Yes, yeah, so it's downloading now. I'll pause this video till after it's done downloading. I don't want this video to be lengthy. I want it short as possible. Okay, so right now I'm done downloading the app. After you finish downloading the i dictionary, it's time to set it up. The setup is very simple. After downloading the app, your normal Android security system or Play Protect will scan it. Then you open it. Yes. So when you open it, you will see something like this, like this, asking you to grant permission. So you can just click on open, this open. Then when you click on open, now when you click on open, look for for high dictionary here, high dictionary. When you see the high dictionary, you can you can. Tap on it. After tapping on it, you will see this allow display over all over other apps. Turn it on. Then when you do that, you are done with this part. But it's remaining one more thing. It's made or two more things. So the thing is open the iDictionary. The iDictionary app. When you open it, you will see this. Okay, when you open the iDictionary app, you'll see something like this interface. Yes, click on this, this place. That circle with two dots inside it. I seen that by this top side. So I'll click on it. When I click on it now, you see what will happen. It will bring something like this. You'll see offline mode, toggle offline mode, switch it. When you switch offline mode, it will tell you something like this. It will show you something like this. Click on cancel. Cancel. After canceling now, click offline language pack. And please ensure that this turn to green. You are seeing before it was gray. If you check, it's gray now. After I toggle, it will change to green. So when you see something like this, click cancel. You will see that. It changed to green. Right now, click offline language package. You are seeing it right below this offline language package. Tap on it. Then you see the language is available. The language pack available. Go for Chinese language. Click on this download sign. Then something like this comes out. Click download. Then you allow it to, to for, you allow the download to be complete. Okay, let me pause now. 
when this when download is true i will continue i told you i want to make this video as short as possible after downloading the chinese pack you'll see it in the up side like in the upper region now if you check you are seeing these have downloaded i have downloaded the chinese language pack so that's the thing let's continue after downloading the pack you you are coming to an end you will see this this arrow here this when you are done with that you will see this this arrow here so just drag it small drag it small then something like user consent something like this will pop up on your screen click on accept now after you click on the accept you witness something like this something like this so all you have to do here is in the in the you will see something like this click on the downloaded apps downloaded apps now you will see high dictionary then turn this on use high dictionary toggle this then you will see a countdown a countdown like this a countdown like this when it elapses click tap on this uh, i am aware tap on it when you tap on the i am aware click on okay that's it now after that i am okay click high dictionary shortcut so tap on toggle this one also high dictionary shortcut so toggle it okay if you can't see this is okay in some devices you might not see this only this can work only this use high dictionary is okay if you can't see this in your device depending on your phone don't bother this alone is okay that's it after this whole setup reboot your phone when you are done with this setup restart your phone for it to be effective enough okay so now i'm done with the setup let's let's do the translation yeah you will see something like this if you look here if you look at when you are done setting it up you see an arrow you see a floating icon this or something static are you seeing this look here see what i dragged look again okay let me change to a black a black screen so you understand okay look at this are you seeing this white something here that's a eye dictionary floating icon are you seeing it this i can drag it i can change the position like if i want to it's now at the right part of my screen right at the left part rather i can i can decide to move it to the right part let me just do that so you understand the icon i'm talking about so i will, I will unpress it when I, when I unpress it it will turn to a position i see it i'm dragging it now move it to left that high that's what i'm talking about so we use it to translate one cc app tauba app and pinduduo app let's start with tauba app so this is tauba app interface is tauba app interface so i will drag the arrow the sorry not arrow the high dictionary the high dictionary floating icon i'll drag it to, and place it wherever i want you are seeing what's happening there right let me zoom in so you see it well let me zoom in ah uh, when i place it here you will see how it will translate it logistic center are you seeing that let me zoom in logistic center you are seeing it right if i place it elsewhere it will translate the elsewhere let's look at this help center then let's see at the, let's see this one tauba coins that's it so if if you want global translation like you want everything to be translated what you will do is click on that floating icon that additional report icon when you click on it you will see this option global translation like everything in the app will be translated everything on display so i'll just click on global translation 
now see what happens it will scan everything then change it to english language this for tauba app now let's let's do the same thing for for one cc app let's do the same thing for one cc app this tauba app hope you are aware this tauba app now let's open one cc app and perform the same deal this one cc app if you notice this one cc app resembles or is similar to tauba app look at this interface this this one cc by the right by the left is one cc why by the right is tauba app if you check the two have the same display the two have the same display are you seeing that the same thing the same thing so these two they are somehow linked because with our account you can log into one city app and vice versa so having said that let's translate one city it now so i'll drag to wherever i want i'll drag the floating icon to wherever i want then when i place it there it will translate so if i drag it to this part of the screen it will translate if i drag it to this part it will translate let me zoom in so you see the now for minimalist mode upgrade to upgrade to unlock more features so that's it if you want global if you want everything to be translated at the same time you can just click tap on the additionary floating icon then global translation Yes, you see global. When you tap on the icon, you see global global translation. Click on it. Everything also will be translated. Ensure you have a good network. Ensure you have a good network. Very, very important. Okay, we have we have done one city state app. We have done Taiba app. Now let's head over to Pinduoduo app. Now open Pinduoduo app. If you check, this Pinduoduo app is different from from one city state eight or Taiba. They are independent. Like so Tauba app is independent of one city app. Sorry, Pinduoduo app is independent of Tauba app or one city app. Why one city app and the uh, Tauba is similar? Pinduoduo is entirely different. Yes, and has nothing in common in terms of accounts with the others. So let's translate Pinduoduo. The same pattern. Drag the the floating icon. You will see something like search icon when you drag it place it on on whatever you want it will translate it if you want global translation like everything in the interface to be translated then you just click global translation so to pinduoduo app one stated app tauba app any app you want provided you have this additionary you can translate as simple as that hope you understand <laughs> Now you can see that this one app worked for one city eight, eight, worked for Tauba, and it worked for Plain Dodo. Yes, if you are using a and this additional is for Android phone. If you are using iPhone, just type I translate in your app store, you will see it there. Yes. So if this will help in any way, do well to subscribe. If you're a first timer or you are not a subscriber, do well to subscribe and turn on notifications so that when I update this channel with new video, you'll be alerted. Hope you are a subscriber.